Hi, Claudia. Happy birthday, honey. 60 years old. Oh, my goodness. I really wished we could be there, but honestly, no one can drag us away from the Honey Boo Boo Marathon. We just love that show, and you know why? Because it reminds us of Uncle Dick's Moorcroft, Wyoming. We just love those people there. Well, I know you're a beautiful girl, but, you know, things were a little different back when. I found some photos that I promise I will destroy at the end of this video. I found this one. Chubby cheeks. I love those little chubby cheeks, but thank goodness for duct tape and super glue. How you did it's beyond me. You just pulled everything back and taped it on top of your head and wore that gorgeous wig of yours, hid everything. Actually, I think you're still wearing that wig. It really looks great. Then, the glasses. You wore these glasses morning, noon, and night, and we know why, don't we? You know, right today you have beautiful eyes, but those eyes, the, the right eye was beautiful. The problem was your left eye. It kept looking at your right eye. And it was very scary. Anyway, I'm glad you had them taken care of. Oh my goodness. What happened here? We can't help the way we're born. That nose had to go. I was so sick and tired of people asking me, is that Jimmy Durante's daughter? Remember his nose? Well, I just am happy you had it taken care of. And Claudia, remember when you visited us about three or four years ago? And I called you out in the morning to show you something and you came running out without your makeup on. Without your makeup on. Without your makeup on. That's a no-no. Remember what the neighbor said? He came over and said, Louise, is that your mother? Well, we did laugh up a storm. Well, I know I did. It just tickled my <laughs> So the moral of this story, Claudia, don't you ever leave home without your makeup. So, Claudia, I really wish we could be there, but it's not the honey boo-boo story. It's Paul. He is laid up with the flu. He cannot get out of bed. He is just so sick. I've tried. We, we've been to the doctor and no, he is flat on his back. He cannot get out of bed. So there is no way we could attend your gathering. And I am so sorry. But maybe in 10 years when Kathy throws another surprise party, both Paul and I will be able to be there. Happy birthday, have a good evening, and hello to everyone. This was a rose, right? You're insecure, don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Don't need makeup.